So I'm gonna intentionally get into some flat spots here on the mini ramp. I have backside blunt slides. Normally give me flat spots pretty bad. And what I mean by flat spots, like you get a little flat area, just like on a car or a bike. And you sound like a motorcycle. Basically you have one flat area on your wheel. So it's always like kind of stopping you, slows you down. And the point of this video is to kind of show you how you can get rid of flat spots, specifically with the Formula 4s. I'm gonna be setting up some new wheels at the end of this video. We'll see how small my wheels have gotten since I've actually gotten flat spots out of them like probably two different times now to where they're really bad. Most people would actually change your wheels when they get flat spots because they're like, hey, I don't want to skate wheels like this, so I'm going to save you some money. This is something people don't talk about a lot. First things first, I need to get some intentional flat spots by doing some backside blunt sides. I feel like it's a common trip where I, common trick, 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 where I land on the side and I get flat spots because I don't know how to do it properly. Basically, I don't know how to pop out right away and I power slide down the transition, which then pretty typically you get flat spots when doing that. So yeah, let's try some backside blunt sides. But I can get them intentionally with a backside blunt. Then I'll just do some crazy power sides. Get to the point where it's really obnoxious, really loud, where like the average person would probably change out the wheel. I'm gonna show you what I do. Instead of changing on my wheels, show you how to get rid of those flat spots. couple little flat spots on there but nothing that you can really hear I want you to be able to hear like that noise funny part is like these back blunts I've been really scared to do them because I'm afraid of getting wheeled by it but now that I'm not afraid of it I'm trying to get it and I can actually do it's kind of funny when you get the thing out of your head that you think it's stopping you actually allows you to do it so now I'm gonna try to slide some blunts so that way I'll be sliding the wheels on the top and on the make so I never really slid back blunts I've gotten the stalls down somewhat I've landed a few so see if I can slide them get some more flat spots Backside blunt side is actually proven to be a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Got the black blunt stall, so I'm stoked on that. What I'm going to do for the point of this video, because I can sit here and probably do backside blunt sides for hours. It's also kind of showing like how good these split fire four x four wheels are. As you can see, like there's those slide marks on there from the wax and the lacquer on the coping. So I am sliding. Problem is I'm only sliding on my back wheels as I'm landing and then scooting. My front wheels are not really getting many flat spots. So what I'm going to do is actually drop in and try to power slide across the entire ramp just to get those flat spots. Like now, at this point in the video, I'm just gonna try my hardest to get the flat spots and show you how to get rid of them. Gotta try to get flat spots without hurting myself. I have made a previous video on OJ wheels versus Spitfire's like, flat spot test. I actually made quite a lot of videos on wheels in specific. And one thing that I found on Spitfire Formula Fours is it's so hard to get flat spots. Like, I'm trying my hardest right now, power sliding everywhere. So I think I'm gonna have to bust out the sander just to make it easy so I can really solidify the point. I wanna, I wanna get these boys flat, making that crazy noise so I can show you how I get them out. So yeah, let's get the sander and add some intentional flat spots. This is crazy, don't judge me.
All right, we gotta let the battery charge on the grinder. I'm gonna eat some lunch. Then we're gonna sand the wheels down. I actually did get some sanded down. Got a little bit of a brrr, that flat spot noise, but I wanna get them really, really good so I can really solidify the point in this video. Operation get flat spots. It's successful. I officially have flat spots. Kind of hear that noise when I'm doing kick turns and riding right now. That helicopter noise that we talked about. So now we got to get into operation how to remove flat spots off. It's kind of funny. I had to get the sander out to get flat spots. Like no matter how hard I was trying, I couldn't get them naturally like while skating. So first step is to actually ride on some asphalt or rough ground. I'm actually at the bike path near me. It's like a mile away and there's it goes on for like 12 miles we're not going to do all of it probably just going to do a mile on the bike path the point here is actually just to go on some really rough ground typically you do get flat spots on like really skate park smooth surface that's a pretty standard operation i mean you can get it on the asphalt it's just less likely that you will because it's more grabby the point is that like we're just going to roll on here we're going to pump things out we're not going to try really intentional to get the flat spots off we just want to roll on the ground and basically just carve essentially Yeah, the big difference with riding on asphalt versus concrete is like you're kind of sliding around a little more. It's not like your wheels don't have one solid surface to ride on because it's like, it's rocky essentially. So that, it's kind of nice because in this situation, sort of like chipping away at our wheels and with the unevenness being the flat spot, it's kind of like allowing it to level out. That's kind of my theory. We'll see if it's working. This segment of the video, oh, I, I'm uh, halfway there, 0.5 miles, so we're gonna make our way back. As I say, this segment of the video is sponsored by Chad Caruso. It's kind of a dumb joke. I'm just so, so stoked on what he's done. I feel like him out here vlogging this. All right, we got half more mile to go. Not 50. That was the first bit of sun I've seen in days too long. Good job. Now we'll see how they sound after a mile on the ground. Pretty bad ground. Alright, not much better. A little bit better. You can't really tell. Definitely pretty bad still. Now what we're gonna do is try to find where the flat spot is on the wheel. So I know I made them on the back of my wheels back here. What I'm gonna do is basically find exactly where it is. I'm gonna rub that specific area on the fresh concrete. And what I'm gonna try to do is get each of those hard edges off. So essentially when you have a flat spot, there's like two hard edges on, on two different sides. That's the idea. So now I'm gonna try to hit both sides Basically the idea is like add more intentional flat spots to try to even out those harsh edges. Now we're gonna get a quick session trying to do as many tricks with power slides at the end of them to sort of like keep sliding the back trucks, keep sliding those back wheels essentially. Just a quick session, five minutes, nothing crazy. Basically what I'm trying to show you now is that you can actually wear down your wheels and get rid of those flat spots naturally just by skating on some uh, rough surface and just carving a bunch and this will take days like I will admit I've gotten flat spots on my former floors and it took me about like three to four days of just like skating in asphalt, skate parks, different surfaces essentially to where I totally got them out but now I want to show you a little shortcut what you can use is a sander or a filer like something with like a nice edge to it a filer would be much better but i'm going to do it in the most like diy way because most people don't have a belt sander things like that which would be a much better way to do what i'm about to do basically what i'm going to use is this drill to get the wheel 
moving. I'm gonna get the wheel moving nice and good. Then I'm gonna use a sander to like basically just file down the wheel. That's essentially what I'm gonna do is make the wheel, the entire wheel smaller, which is gonna get rid of the flat spot. So you don't need the split fire formula four. The point that I was making before is actually that you don't have to do this. You can just skate the wheel uh, on some really rough ground for a while. Just carve, do some intentional power slides. Another thing you could do is like actually grab your board like this and just run it on the ground, just doing circles. And the point of this video ultimately is to save you some money and save some waste because skateboarders, you know, we're using wood, we're using your urethane, we're like constantly getting new products. So there's a way to like make your products last a little bit longer before you just go get a new one. That's the ultimate goal. Let me show you how this works out or in theory how I think it's gonna work. So essentially what we're gonna do here is uh, first make sure we're using the back wheels, not the front wheels, because they don't have the flat spots. Another thing you can do, um, I was doing it earlier, is actually doing manuals like, um, lifting my front wheels up, lifting my back wheels up, just to really try to find where the flat spot is. Cause sometimes it's not always clear. Like you flip your board over and you're like, where is it coming from? So yeah, just doing manuals, trying to lean onto one wheel more than the other will allow you to, to sort of find where that flat spot is. Also, you can obviously rub your hand along it. Like do one of these things. So this we're just going to use to roll the wheel. So what I can do now, is try to get that edge. You can actually see right here where the wheel is getting more flat. So it's actually more wheel in here and then less contact over here. Essentially that's what we're doing down. We're filing down that, that point of contact so we can get some more flat area. Do you think, do you think they're gone? I don't know, I don't think they're gonna be gone yet. I think we're gonna be close though. Whew, it's still pretty loud. Like I was saying before, you can just lift that back truck up. It's cur currently in that back wheel. Now I want to find out which wheel. So what I can also do is just roll it on. The yeah, I can feel it. It's this back right wheel. What we're going to do is file down a little more. Just keep going. Well, it's not really a file. This is the most like DIY way. Maybe you don't have a sander like I have. You could just literally get a piece of sandpaper, hold it here, and do the same thing. Obviously it's gonna take longer that way, so I'll use a sander. We got one wheel down. This wheel's actually sounding pretty good. Pretty flat down. Obviously we're losing a lot of shape of the wheel, but we're gonna save ourselves some money and some waste. To All right, as you can see, now the wheels just look fresh. Like you can see on there, there's pretty rounded off. Like there's your thing falling off it on the sides. So you can see that really a lot of the flat spots are actually on one or the other side. We basically just filed the whole wheel down and they're running pretty quiet now. I'll roll on the ramp right now. Obviously there's a little, little noise in there. Still need to work them out. Like I'll probably need to scan for another day or two on some asphalt, some rough ground, but I'm gonna show you how much better they sound after that little bit of work. Re reviving these wheels. Also, these were 55s. They're probably down to like 52s at this point. But yeah, it's mellow. I mean, there's a little, there's a little noise in there, but I mean, compared to like where it was or buying new wheels, you know, wasting all that money. Not wasting money, sorry, new wheels are a great thing, but overall I just wanted to show you how you can actually make your wheels last a lot longer. They're not always done once you get them flat spotted. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not. Hit that like button. Mash.